Jesus anointed at Bethany. John chapter 12 talks about how Jesus came to Bethany where Lazarus lived. And a dinner was held in Jesus' honour with Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha. Now only a little while before that, Jesus had raised Lazarus from the dead. So you can imagine just how that family would feel, how Mary and Martha would feel, being given that precious gift of time, more time to spend with their brother. Now whilst Martha served the food, Mary washed Jesus' feet. And washing feet was a normal custom. Walking on the hot and dusty roads, feet often needed to be washed. And having spent time in Uganda recently, I can tell you I got into the habit of washing my feet several times a day if there was water available, because such a simple act was so refreshing. But instead of washing Jesus' feet with water, Mary took a pint of expensive perfume and poured it on his feet and then wiped his feet with her hair. Mary was then criticised for this by Judas, who said it was a waste of money, before Jesus stepped in to defend her actions. So I see this as symbolic for a couple of reasons. The first relates to Easter. When Mary anoints Jesus' feet and then wipes them with her hair, she foreshadows Jesus' actions at the upcoming Last Supper when Jesus washes the disciples' feet and teaches them how to love one another through sacrificial, humble service. But the other reason is that it shows Mary's love and adoration for Jesus. Something that was expensive was probably really important to Mary. She gave it all to Jesus to show her love for him. So what is it that we have that God may be asking us to give him? or that he wants us to use for him. Maybe it's our house, maybe it's our money, maybe it's something else physical, or maybe it's our time. I know for me, my time is probably the most precious commodity and time with friends and family, with those I love, can get squashed. And that can sometimes include time with Jesus. But I recognise the importance of just spending that time with Jesus, metaphorically sitting at his feet, listening to him, reflecting. The impact that that unrestricted time with God through Jesus can have on my life is massive. From providing that peace that passes all understanding, to providing clarity on difficult decisions, to that opportunity to refocus my life on God. A week ago, at the 11 o'clock service, we sang a song by Noel Richards, which I personally hadn't sung in several years. But the words really stuck with me. To be in your presence. To sit at your feet. Where your love surrounds me. And makes me complete. To rest in your presence, not rushing away. To cherish each moment, here I would stay. So John 12 is, for me, a timely reminder of the importance of giving that thing that's most important to us over to God for him to use. For me personally, That's the importance of spending that time in God's presence, spending time reflecting, spending time reading the Bible, praying and listening to him. So I pray that this Easter week that we would all be willing to give our most precious commodity, whether that's our time or it might be something else, but that we would give this to God that we would bring the thing we value the most to God so that it can be used by him.